We start with a point. It's Rob Bryanton and welcome back once again. Here we are at the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. And before we get started today, I'd like to give a shout out to Brendan Yuri, who is the lead singer of the popular band Panic at the Disco. And he's been saying some nice stuff about my project in his Twitter feed. So thank you very much, Brendan. Much appreciated. Now, the poll question we're looking at today uh, went like this. The biocentric universe theory says that without life, there is no time, no space, no cosmos. Do you agree with this idea? And uh, the poll ended on July 23rd, 2009. 40.9% agreed, while the remainder, 59.1% disagreed. This blog, of course, relates to an entry I published a few months back uh, called The Biocentric Universe. And there was a follow-up to that entry also called The Biocentric Universe Part 2, which is also part of this discussion. It's interesting to me how some people can't wrap their minds around this concept because they're so mentally trapped in the cause and effect reality of the world they see around them. Trying to visualize how life could retroactively fine tune the basic physical structures of our universe seems like a chicken and egg scenario. How could life fine tune the universe if the universe hadn't already had its initial conditions fine tuned to allow life to come into existence in the first place? It boggles the mind. In entries like Why Stop at Ten Dimensions, I've talked about similar turtles all the way down loops, which don't seem to make sense until you can find a way to divorce yourself from our linear 4D space-time perspective of cause and effect. If the difference between past, present, and future is meaningless once you get out to the proper viewpoint outside of space-time, then questions like which came first no longer have any relevance. In my popular blog entry, Creativity in the Quantum Universe, we discussed other new lab experiments which appear to prove that life is a process which operates beyond the limits of our narrow one plank length at a time window into the information that becomes our reality. Interestingly, Why Stop at 10 Dimensions has become one of my most popularly viewed videos of all time here on YouTube. So uh, we'll provide a link to that video right here. Is there any other proof that life exists outside of space-time? What if I told you there was evidence that the spark of life I'm always talking about can lie dormant for not hundreds, not thousands, not millions, but tens of millions of years and still arise and flourish when conditions are right? Would that convince you that life is a process which at its core exists outside of our limited 4D space-time reality? We're going to be talking about that more in an upcoming blog called Beer and Miracles. Um, so we're going to finish off now uh, looking at that song, Burn the Candle Brightly. We'll put that up as well. There's also, a, just before we go, I'd like to mention a mind-boggling new theory that has just been proposed by theoretical physicist Lorenzo Maccioni, currently at MIT, which may tie into all this as well. And uh, we're going to look at his theory next time in a blog entry called The Quantum Solution to Time Zero. Uh, other related blogs to this are Alien Mathematics, The Long Undulating Snake, the Big Bang is an Illusion, Happy Birthday Paul, and Placebos and Nocebos. My name is Rob Bryanton. Enjoy the journey. Each of us carries it within us. Each of us has a little spark that moves us to dance in the sunlight and lights our way through the dark. I want to burn the candle brightly. Never let it fade Burn the candle brightly Let it light my way Yeah, yeah Each of us tends to a fire That burns so dim or so bright Some like a blaze in all its glory I'm like a flicker in the night I want to burn the candle brightly Never let it fade Burn the candle brightly Let it light my way Some go gently to the darkness Some will rage to the end All of us carry it forever This tiny spark that we take 
this journey is over And that beautiful spark is finally gone We can see that the vessel is empty But we know that the light carries on Every day